नमस्ते टू एवरी वन इट इज़ ए प्लेजर टू शेयर विथ यू माई फोर्टी फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ रिसर्च एक्सपीरियंस ऑन द ट्रेडिशंस एंड कल्चर्स ऑफ इंडिया एंड इंडियन ट्राइब्स इन दिस कनेक्शन आई एम ब्रिंगिंग शॉर्ट फिल्म्स द ट्रेडिशनल कल्चर्स ऑफ इंडियन पीपल बिकॉज एवरी इंडियन शुड नो अबाउट इंडियन पीपल and their cultures which remained unknown in this episode i would like to share the important culture of uh, head hunting prevailed once among the maram nagas of uh, manipur first let us know about what is head hunting and how it has evolved over a period of time and how it is abolished the head hunting practice has been the subject of intense study within the anthropological community where scholars try to assess and interpret its social roles and functions and motivations anthropological writings explore themes in head hunting that include mortification of the rival ritual violence cosmological balance in the display of uh, manhood cannibalism dominance over the body and soul of his enemies in life and uh, after life as a trophy and a proof of killing that is achievements in hunting show of greatness prestige by taking a rival's spirit and power and as a means of uh, securing the services of the victim as a slave in the afterlife head hunting was practiced by many astro onians people in southeast asia and the pacific islands head hunting has at one time or another been practiced among the most of the people of uh, melanesia including in new guinea a missionary found 10000 skulls in a community long house on garebiri island in 1901 head hunting was not motivated primarily by cannibalism but the dead person's flesh was consumed in ceremonies following the capture and killing fear hemendorf a german anthropologist who lived in nagaland nearly a century ago wrote that a naga village could not remain even ideally at peace as long as there prevailed the belief that occasional capture of a human head was essential for maintaining the fertility of the corps and the well-being of the community no young man could graduate to adulthood and be eligible to marry a high status woman without having completed the ritual of head hunting at least once in their lifetime it is believed that the practice was also essential for maintaining the fertility of the crops and the well-being of the community even the women were not shy of taking up arms in the olden days if there is a threat to the children the nagas did not hesitate to pick up a weapon and join the men in battles to protect their tribe honor born into a in inherent a strong tribal identity the present day maram nagas are a proud of their warrior traditions as previous generations were the skills with a da or the long handled head hunting knife have been handed down through the generations with this big background now let us know the head hunting practices of the maram nagas and how proudly they tell about their forefathers way of doing head hunting forefathers of the maram uh oh. they are great warriors oh great warriors great warriors That's they right. were head hunters uh huh once they bring any hat of the enemies uh oh. they will bring to the king's house so he, yeah it says that the once the marams are head hunters so they are great warriors so whenever they go for hunting if they bring the head of a human being then they will keep it here it represents symbolic representation of the head hunting 
which they are following. You can this, see here. This is the. Uh, this man would bring the hat. This man has brought this hat. Yes. This is your morom. Yes. This is the head he has brought up. Yes. Head, head. With whom we are doing head hunting? Actually, olden days head hunting was done with actually uh, from, from the tribes. Among the tribes. Among tribes. Such yes. other tribes. Other tribes. Such a. Olden days, we don't know exactly which tribe which before, tribe because of the land maybe, uh -huh. or because of the forefathers, those mm. are prophets, they yes. depict something and yes. they go for it. Okay, they have lots of culture, this, uh, our headman's uncle can share more better. More better, yeah. You take a number of thousands. Yeah. Actually, see, you see the hat on the hands. What is this? Hat of a man. Hat. Hat. So like, this is hat of enemies. Enemies? Achha. He is a hat hunter. Uh -huh. He has killed his enemy. Uh -huh. Symbolizes that he is under him. Enemies are under him. Under him? Yeah. Okay, okay. And olden days, why they fight is because of the land dispute. Yeah. As well as uh, they want to show off. That I'm a great patriotic or I'm a great hero. Hero. So like a, a, a man who is a good hunter, they consider him as a someone who is a hero. Hero. Okay. okay. So they always go for a war mm -hmm. for which if they bring the head means they will consider him as some as a supreme capable person who is yeah. Achha, higher higher there's the leader. Yes, yes some leader. sort of okay. like that. Okay. Commander in chief or whatever. Okay. okay. So here, uh, this is the decoration which you have You will do now also this type of decoration? We all have. We, we have. When we go for dance or whatever, we make use of this crown, something like a... Yeah, feathers and other yes. things. You will be having. Yeah, we all have. This type of... Uh, all this, this one. Yeah. Okay, this is... What is this one? This you can represent. The whole this. head. This is a... This book, uh, head of a... Buffalo. Buffalo. Yes. Why you consider buffalo also one of your sacred animal or uh, why you have this symbol? Actually... Uh, Hunting, we hunt all types of animals. Okay. okay. But the buffalo's hats, we usually make it for decorations. Why? So no, 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 we are See, when we have a good buffalo with a properly horn up, okay, uh, no. we make a decoration that we have a, say, like. Technique of the moment. And also, so we saw as a prosperity. See, yeah. like in, among the Todas of Nilgiris, they also do <coughs> the same type of buffalo horns. They worship buffalo in the temple. They have the temple also. There they will be decorating with the buffaloes in Nilgiris, the Toda tribe, a primitive tribe that is also. They have only 1,700 individuals. Actually, this buffalo horn, we make it as a blowing. Blowing? Horn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You have that one? You can blow now? It no, shows. Now, we are not supposed to blow. We, uh, okay. we are, we are showing only religious days. Yeah. Function days. During we'll cultivation, blow. okay, we have a certain. Uh, month that we can only make use of that. So oh, if we make use of other time, the village authority is like our chief. King, chief. Uh, yes. Not allowed. Okay, that is religi religious ceremonies only you will be doing. That is yes. yes, we can. Uh, uh, inside we have. Uh, yes, fireplace for sitting. See, we were just looking. It is. Longer than the other spears. Yeah, it's longer than. These are the two longer than the others. Yeah. yeah. Which this, is this spear is longer than the oh, other spear. Oh, mm. Why it is long? Because this is a king spear. King spear. Yeah. Yeah. These other spears you can also use. I make him the puvi mother. I make him the other spear. Yeah. Anybody can use, but this this you can use only the king. Yeah. yeah. That is uh, this is for dance purpose. Yeah. yeah. Which one? This one. This, one. this, one, yeah. okay. this is a looks a bit different spear. What about this spear? So uniquely. There's a what you call friendly sharing of meals with our tribes. Okay. So it's given to him. Oh. The other tribes. Achha, achha, achha. When the other tribes, when they will be interacting, <coughs> then they will be sharing their uh, happiness. This will be given as a gift to them. If anybody comes. Yeah, we share common meals. Common meals. Yeah, they will come uh -huh. here. Next time we also will go back to their village and have a different sharing oh. of meals. So what are the tribes generally you will be sharing? Can you tell the name of the According tribes? To my knowledge. With Mao Pomai, Jemais. 
the neighboring tribes, tribes. That we have. Yeah. yeah we own. Have. Previously, when they go for hunting, uh, before the metal invention, we we doesn't have any shields, iron or steel. This is the shield they used to have for hunting. For wars. This is the yeah for wars. Yeah. For wars and with the made with the bamboo. This is the shield and this is the spear. one spear, spear going for uh, war. This is the way they used to do the war uh, with a spear and a shield. This is the what. This is the unique characteristics among these. Urum Naga tribe. We may even with the buffalo skins. Buffalo skins. Cow, yeah, yeah, buffalo skin. oh. cow skins. No. Cow skins. Achcha. So uh, this is shield. very hot. Yeah. Uh -huh. But this is made with bamboo. Bamboo. This Head hunting among the Maram Nagas was abolished in 1964 by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the then Prime Minister of uh, India. Since then, they are not practicing the head hunting. I am thankful to Sukuto Mukherjee, photographer and a writer based in Calcutta and Wikipedia for using some of their data. Thank you very much for uh, hearing this discussion. Thank you very much. If you have any doubts, you please write to my email. Thank you one and all. It is customary in almost all the tribes of India that after becoming a friend, before uh, leaving the place, they will be offering a drink or a cigar or a gift to the friend who I visited. Here, Maram Nagas are offering a rice beer to me before leaving the village. So I had to accept the rice beer. Then only I can leave this place. Otherwise, they won't allow. This is the rich cultural tradition. Now uh, accepting the beer from the Maram Naga people. This is the traditional beer. Thank you for uh, giving me this <laughs> and helping <laughs> me in this uh, ethnic vision. Uh, you will also come in. Another boy he is uh, uh, from anthropology department. Uh, name? My name is Johnny. Johnny. Another boy. Ismail. Ismail, who is uh, from uh, Muram Naga tribe himself, he gone here and helped me in the filming this document, Ethnic Vision of Muram Nagas. I thank all of you for okay. helping me this in this document. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the rice beer. Thank. This is ritual. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, ritual dress. Huh? <laughs> now you are becoming Maram. Maram, Maram tribe. Yeah. I became Maram. Yeah. Yes. One of the Maram tribe. Maram. Yeah.